Hey everybody, Michael Batiste from the Elk Calling Academy. On this channel, we do elk call reviews, gear reviews, elk calling lessons, tips, and tutorials a lot like this one. So if you're new to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing and clicking that little bell so that you're notified on upcoming videos that we post. Welcome back to another call review. This time, we are going to be reviewing two reeds that are the Elk Addicts Rip It 450 and the Elk Addicts Rip It Deuce. Both of these calls are produced by Native by Carlton on the Rip It frame. And just like other call reviews in the past, we're going to talk about the reeds, um, how they're made up. We're also going to do a few cow sounds. We're going to do a few bugles. And then we're also going to come back and kind of let you know how we feel about these. So, all right, let's jump into the review. So the first one that we are going to review is the Rip It 450. So the Elk Addicts Rip It 450 is a one and a half. So you can see that there's two reeds. This one, the half reed is actually on the bottom side. It is built on the native Rip It frame which for those of you that have watched some of my reviews in the past, you know that I'm a fan of the Rip It frame. It's a little wider frame. It does fit me really well. In standard fashion of the Native by Carlton, it does have extra tape, uh, meaning it's a little larger tape size. But that's a good thing because that gives you room to play, to trim, and really tune this reed to your mouth and get that really, really good fit. Um, the one thing with the uh, Elk Addicts Rip It 450 is it is designed as kind of a good all-around read, meaning it's something that you can do cow sounds, you can do you know full bull vocalizations on it. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the sounds and we'll produce some cow sounds and a bugle or two so you can hear what the Elk Addicts Rip It 450 produced by Native by Carlton sounds like. Okay, so there's an example of some of the sounds that you can produce. As you heard on that last bugle, as you put you know a ton of pressure into this thing, that bottom reed's going to cut loose and kind of give an extra bit of vibration to you. Uh, which you're, when you're really trying to do those high-pitched challenge bugles that have a lot of aggression in, that's a good thing because it just adds a little dimension to you. So, as far as fit goes. The Rip It frame actually fits me really, really well. I'm more of a, a wider frame type guy anyways. So uh, the Rip It does fit me really, really well. And I've enjoyed, you know, a lot of reads on that frame. So uh, as far as the Elk Addicts Rip It 450 goes, uh, it's, it's a great read. Uh, the thing you're going to find is when you first get it on your cow sounds, it, it might be a little squeaky. It might be a little poppy. But as you kind of use that read and things kind of settle into the pocket, you'll find that the, that squeakiness in the cow sounds really subside. I mean, this read right here is basically brand new. I've hardly even called on it at all. But so just like a lot of reads, you, you want to get it and you want to rip several good hard bugles on it to get those reads to kind of marry together, to kind of get them to settle in the pocket. But overall, this is a great read that will do anything that you want it to out in the woods. It'll be great for locating, it'll be great for closing, soft sounds, uh, right up to intimidating that bull. So, all right. The next one in the lineup is the Elk Addicts Rip It Deuce. So Deuce, as the name would suggest, it is a double read. There are two layers on this. The one thing about the Deuce is because it is a double read, it's going to be one of those reads that as soon as you take it out of the package, it's probably not going to do the full gambit of sounds that you want it to. You definitely have to spend some time to break this thing in. 
But man, I'll tell you what, once you break this devil in, it just gives you some good depth on your tones. And as far as bugling goes, you can rip some really good bugles on it. So let's go ahead and do a few cow sounds and bugles on the Elk Addicts Rip It Deuce. Now the thing that I really like about the deuce is you can put a lot of pressure on this thing. It's built to handle pressure. So for those of you that are heavy tongue users or heavy pressure users, uh, you know, the Elk Addicts Rip It Deuce is going to be a great option for you. Now again, right out of the package, like I said, it's probably not going to produce all those perfect sounds that you want them to. So rip several good hard bugles on it, get those things to settle in. And the more you use it, it's one of those reads that the more you use it, the more you kind of fall in love with it. So all in all, both of the Elk Addicts, so the Rip It 450 and the Rip It Deuce produced by Native by Carlton are great reads. And I think they would really be great options for kind of you intermediate to advanced callers. Beginner callers, you know, you, you could probably go with the 450 and find success with that. But as far as the deuce goes, because it's two layers, as a beginner, I think it's gonna be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna say the deuce, more for that intermediate advanced type caller. The 450, everybody will work on that one. So, all right guys, so there's a quick review of the Elk Attic Rip It Reads. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate the support. As always, keep calling, keep practicing, but most importantly, have fun. And we'll see you on the next video brought to you by Elk Calling Academy.